welcome to Brick Tech Mechatronic. Um, this is another edition. Um, I have my flex, and this is the pinout. I have already um, connected it, and this is two seven zero, and this is the old one. They brought it to me to work on it, um, to clone it for them because this one has no highlight, and the reason was that um, when they brought it, I opened the board and saw that the the pins has blown out. This is this this thing was caused. It was due to um, the positive um, terminal um, grinding or attaching to it or something that will cause this blow. So um, I have soldered it correct correctly. So I'm trying to um, work on it if the device can read it. <coughs> Um, um, this thing um, is being caused because um, one of my pins, the white one, which is pin 8 on the flex, I'm having issue with it, so I'm going to tackle it before. Actually, I, ha I went back um, to go and check the solutions and everything. This is the diagram for the 270. It's a 270. Um, let me show you something from here. I don't know if you can see the bend. There is a bend over here. Um, um, let me show you if you can see this. There is a bend. It it attach the the down one. So um, I I have straightened it a bit so that it won't touch um, the second pin. So we are going to connect it again and see whether it will work or not. So I'll click on the connection. So it gives us a good arms and everything, but uh, I'm hoping it will connect. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, this means that um, this is the old ECU in which they have they have brought it to me to you know clone it for them. What I have done when they go and fix it on the car, this one will work and uh, this one i'm talking about the new one the, 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 this old one it will work and this one too will also work so um it has connected successful we click on full backup so we are going to back up the data as you can see it started reading um, you okay Aish. okay okay oh, all right okay. okay um sorry i was talking to my friend the colleague um <coughs> so that is it um i'll pause here when um we are done reading it um, this is successful then i will come and connect this one and write the data onto this one this one there will be no need for me to read the data i'll just write the data onto it so that is that uh, let me i guess you all can see the pen it has been over there the three piece that that's the grounds the edge the whole blown off so i, I have to um, cut the the, the the pcb that um prevent the board from um, the piece i have to cut it off using my uh, iron to cut it off before i have, you know um so that the distance back so that is it we are 80 percent over here so i'm done with the old one so i have connected the new one um, um I'm just cross checking what happens is that i'm not going to save the data as you can see that is it so you get the same one then, um, 
do this one. I will click on this to open the folder. Then I will go back to the session. Then I click on protocols. Then choose bench. Click next. That's a diagram. Click on next. Then click on connection. Wait to be connected. back to the menu to take this thing here and then I have to it is either I'll rename it or just extract the file I've extracted it to the desktop uh, communication problem over here so I have to check it one has been read that is it it's checking out the password So it's okay. So the connection is successful. No need to, for me to go and read it again. So we go straight forward to write full backup. We click on the stop. Um, we search for this is it. Then we click on it. We click on it. Then we click on full backup. That is it. Then we click on OP. Then after that we click on send file. So we send the file to the server. So what it's now doing is that it's calculating, it's calculating the data. Now, as you can see, the calculations are over there. It will start writing. Actually, it's writing. That is it. So we are twenty-seven percent done. Um, so um, flex, um, flex. If you have the master, it's very good device. This um, mine is master. My own is master. It does almost everything. Uh, me particularly, I I usually um, I I work on Mercedes. It's not solely on Mercedes, but most of my job are based on Mercedes. And that's where I have specialized. Well, yes, let me put it that way. But I does programming and other stuff for other cars. Um, BMW, the Toyotas, and Hondas, and the American cars and stuff. I does programming for those those ones. All the ECUs that I have used this machine to work on was perfect. The only time I have issues is when I was trying to... Um, clone um, um a tractor is it is it um, um maybe dear something something dear uh, that's the only time i was having difficulties with it so i didn't know whether it, it was the protocols i was using or something so that is it Done. Okay, we are done. As we unplug our power, we we'll disconnect um, our flex box. This flex box. Let me disconnect our pins.